Welcome to our talk. I am Star Brown, and I am pleased to introduce Bob Gourley of Say Your Company, Uda. Uda Data Link, and I am the executive director of the XR Village. And you're joining us today to understand from fiction to reality the history of the metaverse and XR. Star. And Star, first I want to say thanks for pulling together the XR Village. For those of you who haven't done it yet, please sign up for our Discord because there's going to be a lot of persistent content on the Discord, including things like these slides that we'll put there. And uh, the XR Village has uh, got a capture the flag going on right now um, and some demos with some advanced technology that's really awesome. What we'd like to talk about today is the past, present, and future of uh, the metaverse and some threats to the metaverse. Uh, we thought we'd, I'd start with some slides that I'll quickly go through just to talk about my view of the threats, and then Star and I will have a discussion on the topic. Sound about right? Sounds good. Okay, let's do it. So the topic of these slides is defending the metaverse. And I wanted to give you just an overview of what I'm trying to capture uh, in these notes. If you want a copy of this, just send me an email or come to the Discord server for the XR Village and I'll post these there that you can download. So we are going to talk about the metaverse and what it is and what it's not and how that relates to XR. Uh, we're going to talk about then the key threats and some ideas on mitigating the threats. And we're going to talk a little bit about the history of this stuff. Before going further, I wanted to talk about the history of um, XR. XR meaning virtual reality, extended reality, augmented reality, all together, um, has a long history that I think actually starts in science fiction. Mm. There was a 1935 science fiction story called Pygmalion's Glasses which outlined what the metaverse is talked about today and what XR is talked about today. Science fiction, a nice short story, but it was really an exciting vision of what could happen if you can put on goggles and be in a different world. And that's what we're building and experimenting with today uh, in the XR village. But they're threats, and that's what we wanted to get into with this presentation. I say there's five threats, but I'm going to talk about a sixth one that I learned about today. And uh, with your feedback, maybe there's more. Uh, we need to talk about the threats so we can figure out how to mitigate the threats. The bottom line up front, we are building through extended reality a new system, uh, a metaverse, a new wave of technology, and it is not going to be more secure than the current waves of technology. The three waves as we see them, the first wave was uh, the internet itself connecting computers and servers uh, together in an interoperable way. The second wave of internet technologies is the mobile revolution that, uh, based upon cell technologies that included mobile devices um, and uh, uh, all the applications that came with that. The third wave that is now being built is this XR wave. It's a wave towards the metaverse. It really is the future. The first two waves are still going to be there for a long time, but the third wave, the XR wave, is what is being built right now and is why this village is so hopping over here. And next, please. So what is the metaverse? Um, you hear metaverse frequently. My view is don't lock into any one specific definition. It's far too early for that. But what is being built is a massive, scalable, interoperable network of networks and persistent virtual reality and augmented reality worlds. Uh, that metaverse is being built, but it's not here yet. Um, we have hints of what's coming, and I'll show you a few on the next slide. Next, please. Uh, so these are some of the hints that we're seeing. I don't think of any of these as the metaverse. They're just indicators of what's coming when it's all linked together in a scalable, persistent way. Uh, you have all seen the business collaboration tools and the education collaboration tools. I think you've probably all seen the games that are out there that can be accessed through any computer or mobile devices through extended reality, augmented reality, virtual reality. Uh, you don't have to have the goggles, but the goggles help a lot too. Uh, you have also seen the other tools that are being, um, uh, 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 the games like Roblox, uh, Fortnite and others. Uh, the digital twins in the business world uh, you've seen. These are all hints of what's coming, but it's not the metaverse yet. Right. Next, please. 
The metaverse is coming, however, and that metaverse of tomorrow is going to impact so many industries, as you can see over in the XR Village and get hints of what is coming, um, including just about anyone who needs to work with data for a business or professional reason, but also anyone who likes entertainment in a nice uh, 3D interactive way. Uh, it is going to be a trillion dollar industry. Next, please. I'd like to jump in and share that we have a live working model of a digital twin scenario with, in collaboration with ICS Village. Um, it's off the rails and you can interact and explore practical uses of this novel technology. Cool. You remind me of another thing that I think we should have told these folks about, and that is Bad VR. <laughs> Bad VR is awesome. And first of all, it's a great name for a company, but BAD stands for bring all your data to VR. And there's a demo in your village. There is. All new ways to visualize um, real time with spatial packet capture in directly into the goggles so that in your living world, you can see Wi-Fi signal, other cellular signal, RF signal, and so on. Awesome. Uh, the way the business analysts look at this trillion dollar industry is shown here. Next, please. Now, I want to talk about the threats. And when I built this, I was thinking of five major threats that are coming in the metaverse that are not being dealt with yet, in my opinion. Now, running a village, I want to uh, be able to take input from everybody in the village to see if this covers all the threats or not. Um, I did hear of a sixth one today I want to tell you about. Brief review of these threats being uh, built, I mean, that are impacting the metaverse. There's new privacy threats we all need to worry about. If you have a device on your head and that is collecting data and moving that data to the cloud, there are privacy issues that we need to sort out today. There's an issue of languor. What happens if you put on devices and it just pulls you into this world in ways that make you want to detach from the real world? Um, and if too much of that happens in society, what's going to happen to all of us? And that relates directly to the third one, the onophrenia, which is an inability over time to distinguish what is real and what is not real. A very serious threat. Absolutely. There's new fraud vectors. Um, if someone can know so much about you, including what you really desire, it's going to make it easier for them to commit fraud against you. And then I list the last one here of unleashing demons. Uh, the worst of human spirit may be tapped into and brought out in ways that are not good. Now, I wanted to talk about the sixth threat uh, star. It's one that I, it really didn't dawn on me, this threat, until conversations this morning um, about... Uh, the, the future of all this technology. And it's the threat to us humans and our livelihoods. Now, this relates to far more than just XR. This is XR plus artificial intelligence plus overall better automation and technologies. Um, and we see what's going on right now in Hollywood to uh, screenwriters and actors and actresses. Um, and this is a serious threat to them, but it's also a threat to journalists. It's a threat to uh, truck drivers. It's a threat to those who work in agriculture and the mining industry. Uh, this is another threat we need to think about. The future of XR is that a threat to us humans, uh, which leads to the need for frameworks to solve these threats. And um, I'll just rapidly push through these frameworks. Um, I believe personally, we need to think through what does everybody need to do to mitigate these threats? And I'm looking for open ideas here. So please uh, get a copy of these slides off our server, read through this, give me your feedback. How do we address these threats? <laughs> I've uh, put in suggestions for individuals, communities, companies, governments, and academia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't need to go through all of this right now. It's my suggestions, uh, things for people, us to do. We need to keep learning uh, for, uh, go ahead and hit the next, uh, for communities. The communities like DEF CON community, what do we want out of this new world of extended reality and virtual reality and um, enhanced and augmented reality? Uh, we need to figure that out. For companies, companies have a role to play here too. They really need to be building in security that meets our requirements. Um, and so might, might I interject here? The, the the thing with building, you, you hit a keynote for me, and the point is that we need to start thinking about building products, software, hardware, and policy better by design from the beginning so that we avoid problems in the future. Yeah. 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 Cool. There's a role for governments. 
I don't want the government in our VR, but they're going to be there. And also, I think there's a role in our government in pushing back against hostile nation states that are going to be in our extended reality. So we need to decide what we want our government to do in this world. Yeah, absolutely. The entire purpose of XR Village is to drive better public policy. And it's not no one likes being told what to do, but the reality is that for society to function, we all need some set of regulations. A framework is a good place to start, but we need to get collectively informed, educated, have a little fun, but then go make the rules better, to make the rules we want to see because we're in a position now with emerging policies and other um, legal representations in Washington and beyond that these conversations are happening. So now is the time to scream to make sure that we can inform better public policy for tomorrow. Yeah, what a great goal and it's a great opportunity to engage with this village, um, which gets to this (laughs) recommendation list here. Join our Discord server, uh, come uh, meet with Star over in the village, and get engaged. And that Star is kind of the end of the graphics, really, if you wanted to transition to the uh, discussion portion of our um, yeah. uh, time together here. Yeah, I think, I think the time is now. I don't know how to make that go away, so we're going to live <laughs> with it. But the point is, is, how many people in this room knew what extended reality was before sitting down? You knew the umbrella term. That's wonderful because every single person with the exception of one has said, I have no idea. I've talked to thousands of people so far this weekend and in a room of computer people or security people, I might expect that you'd have more more understanding of at least what the umbrella encompasses so that we can understand um, the vulnerabilities that lie ahead to help. You know, and Star, I think this is a one, it underscores for me that you are a pioneer and the other village founders, and I'm very glad this is starting. It was here last year in a small way, but now you've really grown, and I think next year you're probably going to be connected to every other village, it seems like. It seems like it, and um, to be honest, a lot of our current setup came because it takes a village, and that is the theme for the year, and we wouldn't be here without having been accepted as an adjunct to other appropriate areas, from biohacking to car hacking to ICS and beyond, policy, of course. Um, this year, we're standing alone, and we have pretty, pretty solid uh, interest in the topic, so I'm really here to ask the community to contribute, to think about how how the metaverse and how living outside of what you can touch can be affected and think about the, the naughty things. Think about the way we can tell people what we need to fix today. Right. I think that's exactly what I think needs to happen too. If we want our technology to serve humans and make the universe better, we need to figure out what these threats really are and then how to mitigate them. And I love the way that you said we're informing policy because we have direct connections now into the policy world. We are. We're making great leaps ahead in some regards, but we are still talking to each other you know we need to get to a position where we can include and educate and i think we're really at the right time to do so you know another thing i noticed about your village is there's a lot of young people there uh, they seem to be taking it is to it. it is this morning i think everybody was maybe a little hungover and that that's you know it's that's awesome but um we have a lot of children this morning in in this equipment and and really becoming some of the best demonstrators of i have you know a seven-year-old grabbing wi-fi bars out of the sky and giving bad vrs demo they latch on like this they adopt like this this is why we need to think about this i work largely in the education space and i've encountered many teachers who are actively using ar in the classroom vr in the classroom They've been doing it for five years. They have zero concept. Who is looking backwards at their children in said classroom? They didn't even know it was a thing. They didn't know that data was stored. They didn't know that data was um, perhaps viewable in ways that they might not expect. So things beyond, uh, there's temperature sensing technology, um, and I'll just leave that there. So it's, it's a pretty interesting field to put on glasses and see something that we're not all realizing is being seen. 
And uh, can I put you on the spot and ask you for a real definition of XR? Because I'm not sure I'm using that in the proper way. And how do you define XR? I, I tend to think of XR as being an umbrella term. So for me, it's less about the metaverse. And I think t working through you, it makes me really think beyond hardware. Um, so I think it's XR en encompasses AR and VR along with the associated uh, virtual worlds. Wonderful. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Cool. Yeah. Well, well I, I really think this village is contributing already. And I'm wondering um, if we can entice more people into the Discord server, if we can persist this dialogue between DEF CONs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. So join us on Discord, XR Village. You'll find our information on Twitter and on the slides. And not those slides, though. So <laughs> we'll come over. We're down yonder we'd love to have you come play and then come see the demos and check us out cool Thanks, thank Star. you